We're here at ShopRite in East Norton, and we're going to go through the uh, fruit and vegetable department, okay? And, you know, I, I just made a couple of notes. I want, to, I want to read it so I don't make a mistake. Practically all the nourishments the earth gives to us comes from the top four inches of soil. All these vegetables that you see here, only four inches deep in soil. Now, if you want something more expensive, <laughs> you want to dig deeper, then you get the diamonds and you get the gold and you get all the precious things. But here, we have all the vegetables you see planted no more than four inches down. And one thing about fruit and vegetables, very little fat. So it's good, healthy food. So what you want to do is eat a lot of vegetables, get fiber, and stay healthy. And uh, we're going to move around and meet my friend, the assistant manager, Earl Potts, who's going to go into detail. We're going to do some cutting and see if they cut the fruit, how to cut it, and also how they um, preserve it, and also um, something, some tips about the summertime, what, what kind of fruit and vegetables are coming in, in you know, in from the farm. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's go on a little tour, a shop right, and let's stay healthy. Okay? Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the this side of the store is my favorite store. It's well, side is because of the fruit, vegetables, and the healthy food. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet the assistant manager, Earl Potts, who uh, also the human resources, which means it's public relation. He keeps the the employees happy and keeps the customers happy. So now tell me all about this here, the fruit and vegetables. Okay. Thank you. Here's Thank you, Hank. Get the mic and all right. go at it. Hold it close. Well, what we're looking at Hold today is uh, all the summer items that are very big this year. And if you notice when you walk into the store, they're right when you come in. Um, it, it's important that we talk about uh, peaches first because they're a great source of vitamin A, uh, potassium, and fiber. Um, most people want to know what's the best way to pick a peach. Um, if you pick a peach that is nice and firm, that means it's ripe. You store it in a brown paper bag, and when it gets soft, it becomes riper. That's the best way to, to pick a fresh peach. Um, if you come right over here to the watermelons, um, also again, when you come in the store, it's the first thing that you see. Um, watermelons uh, are huge during the summer, especially when they cut them, uh, put them out. Um, well, let me just refer to my notes here because we have a lot here about watermelons. Everyone has a different trick to picking out the best sum of watermelons. They also look for a hollow sound when they pick them up. Others look for a nice creamy or a yellow underbelly of the watermelon. Sometimes people pick the biggest ones. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. Um, when watermelons are cut, they should be wrapped and stored in refrigeration so they do not go bad. Corn's huge during the summer. Uh, right now we're having a big sale on corn. Um, big ears with bright green husks are the best to get. Yeah, there you go, you got one. Now if you take a look, that's nice and yellow. That's a good one. Um, you should not remove the husk until you're ready to eat. That promotes the freshness. Uh, yeah. It's always good to open it and take a look to see how white or yellow it is. Uh, obviously, it's, it's, it's white corn. White. Yes. White and yellow. Yes. Silver queen, I guess, right? Now, the, the, if you want your corn to get a little more yellower, you have to actually keep that husk on there, like I said, and you should keep it out of refrigeration because that promotes the, uh, the yellowness. Some people put it on the grill and leave, this, leave the husk right off. Yes, open. that is a very good way of making corn also on the grill is if you keep the husks on there. Some on the grill and some in my boil. Did boil you? Boil it for a minute and a half and put a little sugar in to make it sweet. I didn't bring any in for me. No. Ah, oh, come on. All right, Hank, another popular item that's uh, big in the summer are plums. Um, some people want to know how do you pick the best plum. Uh, plums are deep in color and firm um, and should always be kept refrigerated. If you find a plum that is very soft, 
then that means it's ripe. If it's n if it's too soft and too squishy, then that means it's bad. So your 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 goal is red and soft, and nice and round, obviously. Good. Okay. All right. Cherries are a hot seller this time of the year, um, especially during the holiday events. Um, if you notice when you go into a food store, right when you walk in the door during the holiday season, cherries are right there and they hit you when you walk in the this door. This is the hot item right it now. Is right now, yes, uh, for the past few Ooh. weeks. Um, did you want to know which is the best way to store a cherry? Right. The best way to store a cherry is if you keep them in the bag keep them and you bag. keep them in the refrigerator. Okay. The best type of cherry is a nice red firm cherry. The reason why I say red in this they case is firm. because these are red cherries. Right, right. Yes. Very firm. The Good. bag is what keeps the uh, the freshness when you keep them in the refrigerator. Right. Okay. Hold in the up. produce department here at the uh, East Norton ShopRite, uh, we have a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. We focused a little bit on fruit because of the fact that it is summer and fruit is big during the summer, especially the ones that we covered. Yeah, but if you look behind me, you will see that we have a wide variety of different vegetables, um, ethnically driven in the area. And I've worked at many stores and have not seen the variety of different types of items from around the world as much as there is at this store. And I believe that that makes our produce department uh, different than any of the com competitors in the area. Okay, we're in back here in the cutting room of the shop right here in East Norton. And our cutter is, what's your name? Bill. Bill. Yeah. Okay, is that all Bill? Schaefer. Oh, Bill Schaefer, okay. Now, Bill Schaefer, we're going to have to talk real loud because we get a lot of noise here with this uh, refrigerator. Yeah. So now you're going to do the cutting, right? Right. Okay, now show me what you're going to do. Now, the first thing is your, there you go, cut it off. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to watch here the way he operates here. And uh, you learn how to cut vegetables. Sometimes you waste a lot, but just take your time. And here it is. You know, I usually do it the other way. I think I'm going to do it this way from now on. Very good. You always learn. You know, I'm 86 years old, but I always learn. Learn new tricks. You what? How old? 86. <laughs> Okay. Not too far behind you. What's that? Not too far behind you. Uh, okay. How long have you been working here? Four years. Oh, yeah? Yep. Okay. So here's... Okay. Now notice, notice how he takes his time, makes sure every cut counts. Here we go. Now I'm going to chop it up. The center went out. And the little containers. Okay. Okay. What? What's your favorite fruit? What's your favorite fruit? About all of them. All of them. Yeah. Fruit are good for you, right? Yeah. A lot of fiber. A lot of fiber. And I think people now are starting to understand you need fiber to, to keep yourself alive, right? Right. Okay. What do you, what do, you do? Put them over here and you weigh them? Yeah, on here. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, how about, how, about we, how about if we put that to the side? Let's work on that uh, honeydew. Okay. I want to say that, that's, you know, there's an art to cutting and uh, cutting fruit. And make sure you don't waste anything. Okay, now this is the honeydew, right? Right. All right, here's, you cut from the side. All right, and you hold it that way so it'll be, so it won't roll around on the table on you, right? Right. Very good. Look at that. And see, I never did that. I used to go around the other way. That is great. Okay, that's that's the first. You skin it the first time, right? Right. Goes right out into the garbage there, right? Now the next step. 
There he goes. All right, now, now, something new now. Keep your eyes open now. Don't leave the room. Don't leave the room. Watch this. Here it goes. There it is. Okay. Take your time. There it is. Very good. Okay. That's the honeydew. Right. Okay, let's go over to the cantaloupe now. See what you're gonna chop that the same as you do the other one, right? Right. All right, now here's the cantaloupe. Now yes. how do I know when I go there and I pick this up, how do I know that's a good cantaloupe? What what do I look for? You look to see if it's uh, you look to see if there's any bruises on it or any soft spots. Soft spots? Yes. Okay. And words, this is Yes, right. Okay, all right, now, next thing. Now I know that I got a pretty good cantaloupe. Okay, now what do we do? Then I cut the ends off. Cut the ends off. Right. 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 Then I take the skin off of it. Now that, that looks like a good cantaloupe there, right? Looking good, right? It is. It looks like it's solid. Good orange color. All right. There you go. Looking good. All right. Now the same procedure here as you do with the uh, same thing. Go ahead. Let me see. Okay, now let's see what you do here. Okay, you slice it. Take the seeds out right, of it. Take the seeds out of it. Okay. Head on out. Okay. Good. If you can, you plant the seeds in the watermelon. I mean, the <laughs> cantaloupe. You think if I if I plant them I in my backyard? I imagine it would grow. Maybe, maybe I'll take some with me. I'm going to plant them. So maybe next year I have some. I have some cantaloupe. Well, you got all year to I don't know. together them. What's that? You got all year to gather them. <laughs> hey, you enjoy this, right? You, you like this kind of job? Yeah. Good, good. I've been back in here for two years, back in this department. Uh -huh. I started out front. Oh, you were out front. Okay, yeah. so. Okay. What are, is there any other kind of fruit, your uh, vegetables? What, what else do you cut up? I cut uh, stuff for trays. Vegetables, uh -huh. fruits for trays, and that. Uh -huh. All different kind of fr uh, fruit. Is there any other kind of fruit you cut? I do the watermelons. The watermelon. Yes. Now, I'll get one out of the back. Okay. All right, here's the watermelon. Here's what they call a scoochamaloon. That's a nickname for a watermelon. I noticed the big knife here. There you go. Oh, well, in other words, you, you... I cut them like this, I wrap. Oh, let me see how you do that. So people don't realize that uh, the work there is behind this, all right? What is that? Is that a hot pad here? No, you're, you're oh, I see, okay. You seal it right here. Uh -huh. That sort of welds it together, right? Yeah. I so see it. it. Right. Okay. Okay. How about that? It's a cutting room, all right? All right. Okay. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Hey, you're a good man, and keep cutting, Thank keep you. bobbing and weaving. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right on. Hey, look. This is my favorite. 
they call it, you know, a vegetable, but actually it's a fruit. Tomatoes. It's a, in Italian, they call it bumerita. Boom. <laughs> they call it bumerita, right? And, um, but th that is a plum tomato. You know, my mother always used to plum tomato because she says that the plum tomato don't have acid in it. And uh, that's the kind she used to do it. And then let me tell you, it's so, you know why I like, you know why I like tomatoes the best is because you need the tomatoes to make the tomato sauce. And when you make the tomato sauce and then you have the spaghetti. And when you have the spaghetti, you have the, the lasagna. You have all that fancy stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is great here to come and shop right, right here and uh, enjoy everything that you see here. Just take a deep breath. <sighs> nice and healthy. So here we go to another department. Okay, now you heard me talk about tomatoes, how important tomatoes are. If you need tomatoes to make the tomato sauce for spaghetti, ravioli, and the whole bit. Okay, but also you need tomatoes to make the pizza pie, okay? So over here is my friend, and here's a song that goes, When the moon hits your eyes like a big pizza, don't you throw that <laughs> pizza pie, that's Lamora. La, 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 la. That's enough. Don't you throw it. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and that's tomatoes. That's how important tomatoes are. Good, fresh vegetables. Stay healthy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I, I really want to thank ShopRite for allowing us to come in here and, and, and film this. And also, you know, it, it's good information to people to eat healthy. Okay, I want to thank John Flickinger and Earl Potts and the whole crew here that's uh, been so helpful and our man back in the cutting room. So uh, we're going to do this periodically, let people know what fruit, or what vegetables and uh, fruit are in season. And also, you know, I, I often wondered when I take fruit home, you know, should I refrigerate it, should I leave it out? So little tips like that, we're going to keep you abreast with it so you'll be living healthy and wealthy. Okay, so keep bobbing and weaving until we meet again from the shop right, right here in East Norton. Thank you, and keep bobbing and weaving. Thank you very much. <laughs>